Hello, hello everyone. This is Linda with Linda Soup Plants for you. Um, I'm going to do a video today. I think we're going to call it part one of two parts. <clears throat> um, I've been getting a little overwhelmed this last couple of weeks with some of my plant um, well things that I need to, to take care of. Um, with my plants and <clears throat> one of them is uh, they need to be many of them need to be repotted and into a bigger pot or moved because the lighting is now <clears throat> excuse me changing again um, going into spring and I notice the sun is in a different place already so all right so getting on with this um, this is one of my beautiful marantas or otherwise known as prayer plant and I absolutely love this. It's it's one of my favorite plants. And it's kind of funny because there was a time when they just didn't do anything for me. And somewhere over the years, I really started to really fall in love with them. I love their beautiful color. And they're pretty, pretty easy to take care of. Um, they do not like direct light. And... I all I only use distilled water on them and just look at the color isn't it beautiful uh, um, when you use distilled water on your plants you have to remember that um, they need to be fed even more so than without distilled because they're well my understanding is that the in the process of distilling that water that you lose all the minerals all the essential things that our plants need to live uh, this plant um, these two plants I purchased for this stand that my daughter one of the things she got me for Christmas and when I went to put this pot in there um, it didn't there's not a lot of space right here I can fit it in there but it's going to be kind of tied up against here so my husband's going to take this apart and he's going to extend those uh, wire well whatever you want to call them rods I guess let's extend that whole thing down so that I can put to this plant in the second shelf and I hope to someday have a whole um, cascade of praying hands all the way down this wall. Okay. I'm going to skip over to my uh, praying, I'm sorry, philodendron. Partly philodendron. This plant is really taken off. It's doing fantastic. Uh, I'm thrilled with the way it's growing up over the beams that has been my plan uh, years ago I did have plants growing all along these beams but I was much younger then and I was able to um, get up on a step stool and water them I can't do that anymore so I thought well I'll try doing it this way and let it go up and it is going up it's it's I'm amazed. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try and zoom in. It's it's actually growing up around the um, the lantern that you can see there, and then also over here, and it's going up over the little antique toy horse that we bought for. My daughter got it as a gift many years ago, and she just let me keep it here. So, okay, so that's that. And I don't want this to get real awfully long here, so I'm going to move. I'm moving across my living room right now. And as you can see, this is quite the mess. Let me see if I can get my 
lock her out of the way. Okay. So, we've got my... Di I've got different plants here that are not going to stay here. Um, I've been moving things around, like I said. And this is kind of the before, I guess. And these are... That's my lemon button fern. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I've done everything I know possible. I spray it every day. I, I make sure it stays moist. It's I'm losing it, but uh, it's all right. If it happens, it happens. But I'm going to continue to try and keep it alive. But um, I've got my Hoya Crimson Princess up here. That started out as a very tiny plant. And... I just love the whole look of it, the pot that it's in. And this is a cutting. Um, Brandyandum. This was from Suzette, from Suzette's Gardens. She sent me this a long time ago. And it's been struggling, but it's still alive. These are my fallout from my uh, um, burrow's tail. I'm rooting those. I think I just saw fungus gnat again. And this is um, another cutting that started out very small, and as you can see, it's filling up the pot. So, and there's my lipstick, my black pagoda lipstick, also from Suzette. It was a gift from her, and it's gorgeous, and it's, it's getting big, it's getting full. That too took a little time. This is one of the plants I'm going to be working on, my friends. This is my husband's, and as you can see, it has really grown a lot. Started out in a very tiny little pot. I am going to be propagating that, hopefully this later today or tomorrow, and it's very easy to do, because I want that to get even fuller and in a bigger pot, but the color on it is gorgeous, it's, it's really a healthy plant. The little bit of browning you see on the bottom is my, my neglect watering problem. Okay. And then I'm going to quickly move over here. And again, this is not a, a formal plant tour. This is just highlighting some of the things that I have on my agenda that I want to take care of in the next week, if not less. Um, this is my one of my asparagus spring rice. It got neglected as well. And it's in way too small of a pot. It is busting. The roots are, are <laughs> busting at the seams to get out. So... I want to put that in a larger pot so I don't have to water it so often. And if you, I don't know if you can see this, but this is just crazy. This, here's the pot, and I don't know if you can see, I'll, I'll wiggle it. Go all the way down. All the way down. And there's the end. And I would venture to say that's got to be about four feet long. And then I've got another one here. I don't... I'm amazed. And that's going to all fill in. But she needs to be in a bigger pot. Alright, I'm going to take you into the dining room real quick. Just bear with me. Okay, these, this is my African mask, or my alocasia poly. It's growing beautifully. I've got a couple new leaves, another one here, unfurling. And this is a brand new leaf right here, still opening. This, I don't really need to do anything with just yet, but I'm thinking I may have to put her in a bigger pot. She looks like she's getting kind of pot bound in there, but I don't know. She's doing okay, so uh, when it comes to my plants, I sometimes feel like 
you know, leave well enough alone. <laughs> Sometimes I get anxious and I repot things and I make matters worse. So I may or may not do that. Uh, my Brazil is doing great. And my old, old, I believe this was a wine rack that my husband found and brought home. Don't have to do anything with that, but I do have to do something with this. I water her every day, sometimes twice a day, and see, she needs water again. This is my um, philodendron meekens or micans. She's got a lot of leaves on now, so I want to put her in a bigger pot because she's drying out too fast on me. And then this here mess, and boy, is it a mess. So, I hope that makes some of you feel better. I know some of you have um, complimented me on my, my beautiful house and everything looks so clean. It's, it's not always that way, folks. I'm human just like you are and life gets in the way. But, you know, we do the most important things first. Uh, this was my old wine rack here and I had other things on this table, but I needed more space. I needed... What happened is I had a plant in my hand and I needed a place to set it down and this is where I put it and I have been doing that ever since. So I moved this lamp in here and although I'm not real crazy about uh, the setup, I mean, I guess it's okay, but it looks kind of weird, I, guess, I, I think. I would prefer to have uh, those other lamps like I have in the living room that I can adjust for each shelf. But I have to utilize what I have here, so that's what I'm doing. These plants all need tending to. Um, some need repottings. Some need, uh, I don't know, most of them need repotting, I guess. But these are, these are those. And then, <clears throat> moving along, most of you have seen my string of pearls. I don't know how well this, there it is. And it has really outgrown its pot. It needs to be repotted. And I'm trying to find a vessel to put it in. I don't want to just put it in a round pot. I want to find a tall vessel that I can put on the windowsill. And then this one, <clears throat> my string of hooks or bananas I should say, is also extremely long. It's almost down to the floor, and it seems okay right here, but when I get towards the top, it's very sparse, and I don't like how that looks. So I think I'm probably going to um, do the same thing I did a couple of weeks ago, and take a couple of these long strands, wrap it around the top, and get some new growth coming out here. That's, that's what I did there. Um... So that, those two things need to be done. My lipstick plant is doing okay. She needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Okay, and then there is this. And this plant is my uh, Cissus rhombifolia, also called grape ivy, although it's not an ivy. And I did lose a couple of leaves on here that dried up when I was down and not able to water like I should. So I got some of those off, but that needs to be cleaned up. And I want to do some cuttings and make that basket much fuller than what it is. I'm also considering moving this plant into my uh, bathroom. Because as you can see, it's really going crazy. It's up and under the curtains under there and it's just going all you know it's 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 taking the whole corner up which is fine okay there was a little interruption here I somehow or other managed to turn my camera off without realizing it I'm <coughs> apologize for that um, as I was saying it it's growing very long and I really need this space down here for my other plants, as you can see. My begonias, and she's just gorgeous. I just absolutely love this one. 
Well, I like all my begonias, but this this one especially. She just bloomed for me not too long ago. And then I have other plants over here that uh, do need tending to. <clears throat> but I'm thinking that I should, as you can see right here, how it's, you know, interfering. <clears throat> and I just don't have room to push these stands. I wish I could <clears throat> move this stand that way and push this in the corner under directly underneath but I'm afraid that if I do that even if I could that the fullness of the foliage of the um, uh, <clears throat> the, the scissors is going to block the light and one thing that I I, I say it a lot and I, I keep repeating it so because I see so many people struggle with these plants the key to the, the string of anything, I believe, and maybe anything is too broad a term, but I know banana, string of hearts, string of um, pearls, string of beads, string of tears, I've heard, I've heard them called. Um, they, you need to get that light at the top of the soil. That's how your plant stays full. If you don't have the light up there, this is all going to get barren and you're going to see the soil. And you're going to have a lot of growth maybe down the sides, but they're not going to, it, that's all you're ever going to have. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I went down that side road again, didn't I? <laughs> um, I don't want this to end up behind here because then this is not going to get the proper light that it needs. So, I've got some thinking to do here and some rearranging but uh, yeah, that's okay you know we all I think do that at this time of year we get antsy and you know especially those of us in the northern climates um, I, I'd like to say it's been a really cold long winter but it really hasn't we've been very lucky this year and I'm very grateful for that although winter's not over yet we're still in February and we've had some pretty hellacious storms in March and even in April, a couple years, we had some really fluke weather. So we're not out of the woods yet, but I'm getting antsy. Um, the other th thing I wanted to do is separate these, um, the ponytail ponds. I want to give those, give one of each of those to my daughter and granddaughters again. Try that again. And then this guy. Uh, I'm just, my heart breaks for this one. It was so gorgeous when I got it. This is a kangaroo paw fern. And <clears throat> I had it in the living room. And then, and it was doing fine. It was, I was getting new growth and it was just, it was very happy. And all of a sudden, for no apparent reason, it started going bonkers on me. And I was losing leaves left and right. So, I'm. this is my last hope. I've got it in my dining room. This is the south window. Uh, but as you can see, it gets a little shade up here. So, I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. But, oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I've got a baby. Oh, that is a good sign. Oh, I am so excited right now. I, I know, my, my husband says it doesn't take much. But he should be grateful for that, right, folks? <clears throat> oh, that is... Oh, and I think I see something on the top here. I'm not tall enough to get in there, but I'm going to put the camera. See that? That is a new growth. Okay. That just made my day. I am so, so happy. Well, we're going to leave this plant right here and see how it does. That's, and you know what? I, I've got some new hooks that I found at my, um, well, the dollar store actually had some too, but I got these at uh, Stein's, and it's just an S hook, and I'm going to put that up there, and that'll allow me to drop this pot down a little bit. 
so that the whole plant has that southern light. Maybe it wasn't getting enough light. I don't know. Um, I think the other thing I was told is that these can, these can go dormant in the winter, so that's possible. What hap possibly what happened? But anyway, all right, we're getting along again. So I'm going to hang up now, and I'm going to take care of all these things, and hopefully I'll be able to get at least some of it done between the rest of today and Sunday. And then once I do, um, I'll bring it all back to you and. You can see what, if any, progress that I made. Okay. Alrighty. That'll be it for today. Thank you all for coming. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you want to, if you like what you see. Um, I do appreciate that, and if you have any comments, I appreciate those as well. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye now.